thank you for joining us today, Athol. We're here to talk about your exhibition, Peter Pan is Dead. Can you tell us, uh, where does your interest in childhood stem from? Um, I've always been surrounded by objects relating to childhood. Um, my family owned a business where they purchased um, used goods and resold them. Um, I spent a lot of time working in that business um, in my sort of teenage years, so I think probably quite influential. Um, and I used to spend a lot of time just with the objects, became quite fascinated by thinking about their history um, and if they had a special meaning to people. What is your methodology when it comes to producing work? Um, first and foremost, collecting. Um, I'm a bit of a collector maniac. I love to find abandoned objects or objects that people have decided they've no use for and trying to give them another purpose. Um, I go to second-hand sales, jungle sales, car boot sales, and I love interesting objects that um, have a bit of history to them. How do you decide which of these objects to work with? Um, I think that process happens in, in the studio space, whereby I have all of the objects just thrown in together. They, they live there until I decide that I think it would be quite interesting to work with a particular object. Um, or sometimes I find the objects start to work with me in the fact that I will have an idea for a piece of work and it will organically start to develop, mainly because of, I have such a vast um, reference of objects that I can choose from. Which of your contemporaries would you say have influenced your practice? Um, Mark Dion, uh, for the, the, the manner in which he collects almost quite um, manically um, his collections and his installations come across as just somebody who wants to collect objects. Um, I love the work of Annette Messenger. Um, she juxtaposes dead animals and soft toys, usually within something that she's knitted or created herself. Um, and also Joseph Cornell's display or uh, found boxes where he creates a little environment inside the box. I'm quite fascinated by the process of that. Why Peter Pan is dead for the title? Um, I think Peter Pan uh, uh, as a character and as an individual and what he stands for is very interesting. I like the idea that a child can decide that he's not going to grow up and that he can then run away and live his life continually as a child. Um, the fact that I've, I've stated that he's dead stems from uh, the original play, the 1904 play. He, he, he decides that death would actually be quite a marvellous adventure. He states that it would be quite a marvellous adventure. And I almost wanted to, to give him the opportunity to die to then go and have his adventure. With regards to this exhibition, what message would you say the works project to the viewer? Um, I think to understand the importance of childhood and the ability for children and play within childhood to release the idea of adventure and freedom and, and pure euphoria um, and I, I think it is never too late for you to have a, have a happy childhood. You can always look back on things and, and, and enjoy it.